colourful? Is he just... When he's got the sun on him, you can see he's got all different colours. They do have a variety of colours depending on where they are on the site and stuff. One's with blue in and there's ones with green in. Are they live bearers or egg? They're live. They're really, really small. They're about, they can kind of fit on your finger now and they're like completely black. And then they go dark copper brown. And he looks a bit like a crocodile in one sense, isn't it? Yeah, same family. Is it honestly? Yeah, of course. Yeah, all reptiles, yeah. And you go back far enough, you end up with birds. They all come from the same family. If you look at a lizard's feet and look at a bird's feet, they're remarkably similar. I didn't know that. I'd say it's cosy. <laughs> they do quite like having their nose rubbed. Oh. Odd enough. And every time he comes out, the others run away. And he likes this log here. Oh. And if any of the others are on that log, then he chases them off. Because it's only in the spring and autumn that they actually get together. They're normally quite singular. Because once the male wants a breeding patch, then he fights everything else off, apart from females, and he'll like the youngsters as well. Also, when they when they have their young, that's it. They just leave them. They're oh. born, and they have to fend for themselves. <laughs> but you do get non-breeding ones together. They can have like about nine or so young. They stay together and they might mix with some sort of year old ones who haven't gone into the breeding season yet. And then in the winter and in the autumn they'll start to get together and they'll hi all hibernate together. How long do they live for? I think it's about seven years or so, if they're lucky. I think it's about two or three years before they're like adult and breeding. Most reptiles live quite a while.